Nine out of ten doctors recommend getting motivated. The other one is already motivated. How about you? As always, the Walking Leader Podcast is an audio tool for you, current and future leaders, to sharpen your skills and hone your craft. My name is David Garrett. I'm here to help you every step of the way without delay. Welcome to episode 207 of the Walking Leader Podcast. Let's get this show started. This episode and all the episodes in 2021 are part of a new new project I'm starting, a new series I'm starting within the Walking Leader And this has to do with self-leadership and leading yourself and getting yourself in a position to be a leader, to take charge, to get out there. But you have to lead yourself first. And a lot of the things that we're going to talk about in this series is, is the steps you need to take before you're ready to get out there, before you can get out there in a sense of not a preset, you have to meet these accomplishments or you have to check these boxes. No, what I'm getting at is that you have to have the infrastructure within yourself to get out there and lead and to be recognized in a leader. And a lot of it is within you and you have to get started within you. You have to take those first steps. You have to get motivated. And in this episode, we're going to talk about getting motivated. That's what this is all about. Why do we need to get motivated? Because if we need to motivate, we have to motivate ourselves. If we cannot motivate ourselves, how are we expected to motivate others? And motivating others is a key, key component of being a leader. Failing to motivate others, you're just a figurehead. You're just a name on the door. You're just someone who's got a title, but that's it. Nothing else behind it. No style, no substance, no nothing. And that's not a leader. A leader is out there motivating, is out there inspiring, is out there making things happen on a constant, consistent basis. And we're going to talk about all those things as an individual, as ourselves and what we need to do to motivate ourselves. And I'm going to be sharing some things that I've picked up along the way. I've discovered some some websites that are going to help and I'm going to share them with you. So don't uh, don't feel that I'm going to leave you out there. No, let's look at this next year, 2021 as that year that we're building ourselves to get out there and lead and be better leaders. If we are already leaders, future leaders, you want to step up, you want to lead, you want to be somebody that's recognized as a leader, then you know what time to take the reins on yourself now to lead yourself. Yeah, you can lead yourself to water, but can you make yourself drink that water, right? So it's, it's, it's a play on that. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but can you make it drink? That's the thing. So you have to motivate yourself and you have to get motivated. I'm going to reference the healthdirect.gov, gov.au in Australia, the Health Direct website on motivation. It's really great little little one page on, on getting started and staying motivated. And there'll be another one. The, I'll reference another one about stealing, what steals our motivation. And we'll cover that in this episode. And it's not going to take too, too long, but it's necessary. It's critical. I want to get the conversation started with you. And you need to start having that conversation with yourself. And I'm not talking about listening to the little voices inside your head, because I'll tell you one thing, those little voices inside your head are wrong. You are enough. You have to work on it, but you're enough. And you don't have to feel like the little voices are, well, they're talking you down, that negative talk. And we're going to talk about that negative talk in as part of the series, but understand that You have to motivate yourself. And when you motivate yourself and you inspire yourself, that's when the little voices of doubt, that's when that imposter syndrome starts fading away. And we all have it. We all have it. Uh, We all do. And and sometimes those voices also manifest themselves in the outside, from the outside. Sometimes people are threatened by your inspiration, your motivation, what you're committed to, what you're delivering And they're threatened by that because sadly, some people feel that that's going to take away from who they are and what they've accomplished in your life and well, what they've done to your life. And while it's not a good thing, it does happen. So with that being said, let's dive in. What is motivation? And and again, from the uh, healthdirect.gov.australia.au website, it says motivation is the drive to achieve your goals or needs. And motivation is influenced by how much you want the goal, what you want to gain, and what your personal expectations are. There it is. It's the drive to achieve what your goals are. And as I'm writing, as I'm writing, not writing, as I'm recording this episode, I just finished, I'm recording this on January 31st, 2021. 
I just finished making a list of the 11 things I want to accomplish, what my goals are for February 2021. Not the year, I'm breaking it down. And then I broke it down by what are the big things within that goal? What is it that I need to accomplish to achieve, to say, all right, I successfully achieved that goal. What did I want to gain? What do I want to do? What do I want to lose? What do I want to cut out? What do I want to manipulate? What do I want to change? And then I broke that down into the days, the 28 days of February. Did I meet that benchmark? Did I achieve that goal? Did I do it? Yes or no. And what do I need to do to catch up? So now my goals are clearly set out. So that's, that's it. What do I gain? It's well, that I achieve my goals and I'm ready to move on for March and then April, not the entire year, but in small pieces, small bite-sized chunks that we can work with, we can adapt from, we can change with, and we can succeed. And once we succeed, then we're ready to move on to the next. So it's all about that motivation. And it's important. It's important because it lets us know that, hey, we're on the right track. And if we're not on the right track, we're going to know it too. Because our motivation stems from where we want to go and how we're going to get there. And when we start feeling that we're not getting there, well, that might just steal our motivation. But we need to recognize that when our motivation is gone, it's not gone for good. It's just that we need to correct our course. Thus, when it comes to motivating yourself and putting yourself out there and saying, okay, well, here's what I'm going to do and here's how it's going to happen. You need to write it down. Because you put it inside your head, it's not going to help. Putting it up there and just you're going to end up forgetting about it because other things are going to cloud your vision or going to cloud your mind because you're going to sit there spinning your wheels. What is it I need to do? And it's like, I know I sat down, I thought about it. But how does that transfer over onto your professional or personal life and in leadership? Nobody wants a leader that has to sit down and go like, well, um, today we're going to. No, they want a leader that's going to take them someplace. Why? Because they want to know, they want to follow a leader that already knows where he's going or where she's going. And if she doesn't know where she's going, he doesn't know where he's going. He's useless. Be someone who knows where you're going. And because you're motivated, you know what you're going to go to. You know where you're going. You know how you're going to get there. And you know how you're going to overcome the challenges and the obstacles. And because you're focused on the new, you're focused on these goals. Anything that was old, bad habits, old bad habits, old habits, and bad ones. Um, I bite my nails, I chew my nails, and that's my bad habit. But guess what? This month, it's an unwritten rule. It's not, it's an, I didn't write that goal down. But I do believe that by keeping myself within the goals I have, I'm going to start getting away from chewing my nails so much. Why? I do it out of stress. I do it out of anxiety. That's just who I am. That's just how I built. I've always done that. And I've seen that from uh, growing up as a kid. My dad did it. And uh, so it's just one of those things. It's it's a learned, it's a learned action. It's a learned uh, function. It's a learned activity. It's 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 a, uh, it's just passed down. And because we've seen others do it, we do it too. And my brothers have done it. And it, it's just something that's there. But let's see what we can do about changing it without actively working to change it, without actively writing it down and and making it tangible. But. We'll need to continue to work on it, but it's a challenge and it's also an opportunity. So it's a challenge to not chew my nails and it's an opportunity to maybe do something different. That's going to help me not bite my nails and it's going to help me lose some weight because that's all my, that's one of my goals. One of my goals is to not have a, I have to follow this diet or I have to follow the keto diet or I have to follow the Atkins or no. It's about planning my meals effectively. It's about watching what I eat. Don't get too crazy. And it's also about going a little slower when I eat and deliberately doing things in, in, a, in, a, in a manner that's a little more than just scarfing everything down. Okay, what's next? No. Getting out there, exercising, that's my thing. But I'm not saying, oh, I need to run two miles today and then five miles by the end of the month. No, I have my goal and it's a realistic goal. But again, It's getting out there, waking up every morning when that alarm goes off, putting my feet on the ground and getting out there. So it's, it's a good thing. And so tomorrow begins that process, February 1st. And as the series goes on, I'll share with you as, as I go along, 
So you're going to join me on this on this adventure. You're going to join me on this this mission, this vision of of changing ourselves and 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 motivating ourselves and re-inspiring ourselves and rededicating and refocusing ourselves because we need to lead ourselves first. We need to lead ourselves before we can lead others. So together, we're going to work on it and I definitely want to hear from you. So let me know how it's going, what you decided to do, what your changes are, what what's going on. You hear me? reach out. I definitely want to hear from you. And it's not, it's going to be difficult, but it's still, no matter what, you can have so many people in your corner. You can have a, you can have your entire family in your corner, your business. Uh, if you're still in school, your entire school behind you, but it still has to do with you putting your feet on the ground every morning, taking that second step First step is easy. It's that second step. It's February 2nd, Groundhog Day, right? But that's where it's at. It's doing it the first day is easy because that's the first step. You know, it all, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. But that second step, it's the one that says, you know what? I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it again tomorrow and I'll do it again tomorrow. So then it'll be the third step and the fourth step and so on and so on. But it all, again, begins with you as the individual as motivating yourself and you have to motivate yourself and there's no way around it. And yeah, like I said, there will be things that are going to challenge you. There are going to be things that are going to, well, come crashing down and you're going to get demotivated, demotivated. You're going to get um, uh, you're going to get uninspired, unmotivated, demotivated. You're on a right track. Something derails you. It starts raining or it gets really cold or it starts snowing like they're in New England right now at the end of January, beginning of February. Um, a friend of mine just texted me. They're expected to get eight to 12 inches a couple of days. And how do you get out there and exercise? It's so easy to eat junk because you're home. There's nothing else going on. There's nothing else that is um, available. You're just within. There's nothing else to do. That's all there is to do. So no, you got to watch yourself and you got to watch what's going on and you have to motivate yourself and stay motivated and don't lose that motivation. So don't worry about something going wrong, something derailing you. You just get back on track. You set your course. You set your course. And if, you're, and if what your goals are, are not clear enough, then you set that clarity. You get them clarified. You sit down again and says, you know what? This is great. But what is it I truly need to do? If I want to, let's just say I want to lose, well, I want to lose 10 pounds by the end of, of, uh, of January, of uh, February. I, you know, technically I could do it, but the trick is maintaining that consistent loss. So I understand that. But what was it I need to do today? February 1st. What is it I need to do on February 1st to get this done? So as you're listening to this, it's already a weekend and, uh, you know, it's just I'll try to put a note out there how I'm doing on on my Twitter. But it's also one of those things that you need to clarify yourself. You need to get yourself back on course. And that's fine because ships do it. Ships at sea do it. Aircraft do it all the time. It's natural for them. It's natural for them to change and correct their course because they're off course. They've they've uh, a wind, a sudden wind uh, speed has changed up in the in the um, in the uh, the the flight what is it the the jet stream the uh, the speed has changed and now they're going into a headwind a stronger headwind and so those aircrafts now have to consume more fuel to stay on course they now have to adjust themselves to stay on course or can they go fly around a storm and at the moment they fly around the storm they're off course they need to get around it and get ba- get themselves back on course so it does happen you can do it too same thing with ships at sea sometimes they'll go around a hurricane if they got plenty of, of warning and other times they'll just barrel through because they're already too late to, to change things. But they'll still get a course deviation because the waves, the tides, everything will move them around and it happens. So everything that's out there happens for a reason. There's going to be changes and there's going to be a need for getting back on course and readjusting yourself and just discovering where the change needs to be made. And then you work on it. But you're working on it and you're working on it. And that's really what it's all about is just remember that you want it. You got to motivate yourself. You got to get yourself up every day. Put your feet on the ground. Take that first step, second step, third step, and off you go. No ands or buts. So get yourself motivated. That's really where it's at. It's important. 
it's going to help you get to those goals. And when you get there, you succeed and then you create new set of goals. I guarantee you, I'm going to create a new set of goals coming, come for March because we need to, we have to, we have to stay motivated. If we want to see real change, we want to be real leaders. We have to be motivated and we have to motivate ourselves. And when you're motivated, others are going to see that. And that my friends is a very good thing. So I'm going to bring this episode here. We're going to wrap this part up. But we're going to go ahead and come back next uh, next uh, couple of weeks and we'll pick it back up again. But in the meantime, uh, I want to thank you. Reach out Dave at DaveGuerra.com or follow me on Twitter at Dave Guerra, D-A-V-G-U-E-R-R-A. Or on Instagram, Dave underscore Guerra. There's an underscore in my name. But let me know how you're doing. I'll be posting content up there as, as, as this as this episode gets posted. So by the time you hear this episode, it's out there already. Get out there, get the work in, put the work in, know where you're going, stay motivated, get motivated, Had that, get that drive and kick it into overdrive if you have to, but you have to do it. That's the only way to succeed. And again, I thank you for taking the time to listen all the way up to this point in episode 207. Join me on our next episode here in a couple of weeks. And uh, until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, listen to each other and talk to each other and talk to yourself. You know, remember... You got to stay motivated and that's how you do it. And uh, also to go beyond the grind, go beyond the hustle. And because today and every day, that's the only way to be the walking leader and a leader that is truly great to follow. 